Hello, Zin here, and today I will show you how you can allow a standard user with no administrator privileges to run a program or application that needs administrator privileges. In most enterprise networks, user accounts are created with the standard privileges that allow them to open sessions on their computers, run their applications like Microsoft Outlook, Word, Excel and other corporate applications. In general, these applications doesn't need special privileges or administrator rights to work. But some applications need administrative privileges to perform some actions on the user computer. Maybe creating a file in a system protected folder that requires admin privileges to do that. If you are a system administrator, you may be in a dilemma with this kind of situation. Should you give the user administrator privileges on the workstation? By doing so, you will provide the user permissions to do what he needs on the workstation. Installing an authorized software like torrents, games, crypto miners, etc. The ideal solution would be to give the administrator privileges only to the application to allow it to run as expected. There are many videos and tutorials on the subject and they all suggest using the built-in local administrator account. I'm not going to follow this path for security reasons. Microsoft security guides recommend disabling this account to prevent credential theft attacks. When he wants to take control of a machine, a hacker always tries to compromise the default administrator account to take ownership of this account. This is why we will use a new user account and give it administrator privileges. So here are the steps we are going to follow. First, we need to create a local user account. Second, we will add this user to the local administrators group. Then we will create a shortcut to the application with the following parameters. slash user colon apps. Apps is the username that will run the application. You can choose whatever username you want. Slash save cred. This will tell Windows to save the app user password so that the next time I run the application, it will not ask me again for the password. It will retrieve it from the credential manager. Don't worry if it's confusing for you. I will show you that in detail in the demo. The CMD slash C will open a command prompt to launch my application located in the program files path. In the demo, I will explain why I use the command prompt to launch my application. So stay tuned. In this Windows 10 machine, I'm connected with a standard user account. And here is the program I want to run as an administrator. So when I double click to launch it, so it asks me to enter the administrator password. So first we need to create an administrator user account. To do that, right click on the start menu and I'm going to open computer manager. But I want to open it as an administrator. So I'm going to press control shift keys and click enter the administrator password. Click on local user and groups, open users folder and under the users list, I create my new user. For the username, I'm going to type apps for the full name, also type apps for the description. I can type account to run my apps as administrator okay and here i choose a password for the password uh, you can choose a strong password i usually use this uh, website lastpass to create a random and strong passwords 
so you can generate your password here and when you are okay with the password you copy it and you paste it I'm going to uncheck this option here user must change password at next logon and check this option here user cannot change the password I don't want the password to be changed and the password never expires and click create to create my user account here is my user account created here my next step is to add this user to the administrator groups so i'm going to right click select properties click on members of click add and type administrators I click check names button to ensure the group exists and I didn't made a typo okay okay so now that my user is created and added to the administrator group now I'm going to copy this command here I already prepared run as slash user apps save cred and give it the path to the application so I'm going to use this command first before the second one to show you why I have used the CMD in the second one so copy this one I right click on the application shortcut click properties and in the target area I'm going to paste my command so the next time I double click on the shortcut it will run this command so let's test it double click on the shortcut and it opens command prompt window and it asks me to enter the password for the apps so I'm going to paste my password this complicated password let's copy it again control V enter and nothing happens let's run it again a brief window appears and nothing seems to happen the program didn't run in fact this happens because windows if you want to use this command you need to use the built-in administrator account to make this command run with another administrator account windows doesn't accept this command and didn't run the program this is why i use this workaround by adding the cmd command to run the program so first what it does it opens a command prompt first and then run the program from the command prompt and this works so I'm going to copy this command here and replace the old one paste apply okay now let's test again and this time it runs my program is opening yes it works my program runs properly with administrator privileges the downside of this command is that it opens this command prompt window before running the application if you like this video smash this like button and subscribe to my channel to learn more stuff like this